God, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom to the Torah, Shazi, Ashallah, give him a course, all on the glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh, Shah. That's all praises on the glorification unto the Most High God, Yahweh. In the name of His Holy God, and Yahweh, Shah, this brother, Yahshallah. Coming back to all yet another video to the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh, Shah. Uh, Lord willing, um, you know, this video is edifying to the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh, Shah. Right? So I'm going to get straight into this. This is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse number 34. It says, For jealousy is the rage of man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. All right? So jealousy is the rage of man. From jealousy, because of jealousy, because of envy, because of, um, you know, uh, envious spirits uh, upon men, that ra rage is, is, is um, kindled. You know what I'm saying? Rage is kindled. And therefore, many, many people have perished because of that jealousy, because of that envy. They let that envy, that, that jealousy get to them, right? They'll even show you that in, um, you know, Othello by Shakespeare, right? It's a play written by Shakespeare. And they'll show you that basically Othello, one of the themes is the jealousy, um, jealousy basically being the ruin of a man, right? Because Othello was jealous. Uh, of of um Brabantio or not Brabantio, but one of his or Cassio, basically um lying down or getting with his wife, even though even though that didn't actually happen. It was uh, Iago who was actually lying to him, right? But basically, jealousy is the rage of man, right? Point blank per period. That's the rage of man, right? It says therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. So when that man that jealousy starts building up and building up and reaches its climax that man will will not stop at anything but to appease his anger right and more so on a spiritual level this could also be talking about yahweh shah right but we'll just we, we're going to stick to the physical level we're going to stick to the uh then we're going to go to the spiritual level right it says what verse 35 he will not regard any ransom so if you try to calm this man down trying to give him some money Hey, hey, I'll pay you, damn, $5,000, $6,000, you know, uh, $60,000, $100,000. What do you want? What do you need? Just spare my life, right? It says what? He will not regard any ransom. He doesn't care about the, your money. He doesn't care about your money. He doesn't care about what you have. All he's focused on is appeasing that jealousy, that, rat, that rage that he has in him, right? Whether that's, you know, by killing you or killing somebody or whatever, Whatever, because that, that jealousy, it could lead to murder, you know? It says what? He will not uh, regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest him many gifts. All right, so you might give him many gifts, but still that jealousy is still going to be, it's still going to outweigh everything that you could possibly give him to appease his anger, to appease his jealousy, man. All right, that's why we have to beware of envious spirits, you know? Let's go to the book, uh, if, you know, I'll show you that in the book of uh, Sirach 9-11, you know, let's go to this, right? It's the book of Sirach, chapter 9, and verse 11. It says, envy not the glory of the sinner, right? For thou knowest not what shall be his end. So jealousy can lead also, right, to what? You envying uh, uh, Islaki, uh, the glory of the sinner, we can't envy the glory of the sinner. We can't envy, you know, any wicked people, right? We can't We can't envy. We can't have that jealous spirit in us, right? Envy not the glory of the sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. You don't know what's going to happen to that man, right? And let's say, and this jealousy also in the book of Proverbs chapter 6, mainly could be talking about, you know, let's say a man, he might be jealous of his wife or, you know, as the Lord states, be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. You know, a man might be like, uh, might suspect that, you know, his wife is moseying around a different man and stuff like that. You know, even though he doesn't have concrete evidence and whatnot, and that jealousy can consume that man, you know. Therefore, it is rage of man, right? But on a spiritual level, when we go to Proverbs 6 and 34, it says, For jealousy is the rage of man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. And Yahweh Shah, on a physical or so like on a, a spiritual level, he's coming with jealousy. Right, let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 13. Right, it says what? The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. So the Lord is coming with jealousy. 
He shall cry, yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. So the Lord, when he's coming back, he's coming back with that jealousy as well, with that rage, right? As it states in the book of Revelation, right? As well as other um, precepts in the scriptures, right? It'll tell you that the Lord is coming with fire and with anger, right? This is the book, that's Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. All right, let's get that. All right, it says what? Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord is coming with anger and he's not going to stop until he appeases that anger upon the inhabitants of the world. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of Yahweh and Yahweh shall be many. Right. So he's going to be killing a whole lot of people, man. All right. Let's go back to this. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 34. For jealousy is the rage of man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. And the Lord is not sparing anybody in the, in the day of vengeance except for his elect, right? If you're wicked, if you're in the way of the Lord, he's not going to spare you. He's going to utterly cast you down, right? If you're not keeping the commandments, if you're not abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, the Lord is going to be cutting you down, right? He's not going to spare you in the day of vengeance. And that day, these are the days of vengeance right now. Right. This is talking about the, the Lord's visitation. Right. Verse 35. He will not regard any ransom. Right. You can't pay the Lord anything. He doesn't care about your money. We're talking about the Lord. Right. Let's go to the book of Job. Right. Let's go to the book of Job. We're talking about the Lord. He doesn't give a damn about any amount of money that you might have. Right. Um, this is a book of Job. Chapter. Um, so lucky. So lucky, right? Let's get this uh precept. All right, this is a book. All right, Con Job chapter thirty six verse nineteen. It says, "Will he esteem thy riches? No, not gold, nor all the forces of strength." All right. So does the Lord care about your riches? Does he consider your riches? No, he doesn't give a damn about that. So you can't appease the Lord's wrath, right? In the day. Of, of his visitation. You can't appease the Lord's uh, jealousy when he comes back, right? There's nothing you can say, nothing you can do when he comes back. There's no ransom. There's no price that you could pay the Lord in order for you to uh, um, basically spare your life, you know? Let's go to Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 18, right? And it reads, Neither their silver nor their gold shall deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. So your silver and your gold is not going to be able to save you in the day of the Lord's wrath, in the day of his jealousy, right? But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So he's going to make a speedy a deliverance. And see, it says what? It says, shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, by the fire of his jealousy. All right, we're just reading about that right now. So remember, hey, remember, Solomon is a prophet. All right, it doesn't have to actually say that, yes, the Solomon, the son of David, is a prophet. Right, it doesn't have to actually say that verbatim. We know through the precepts that Solomon is, is a prophet because he prophesied about Yahweh Shah right here. He's alluding to Yahweh Shah's second coming right here. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about the Lord's second coming right here, you know. The Lord also um, states, or a proverb, a slakia, Solomon, he also pro uh, prophesies, prophesies in the book of Proverbs about the righteous getting the kingdom of heaven, you know? So, hey, he, he, he's a prophet and he understands the prophecies, okay? So I'm going to read that again, Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 35. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest uh, content, though thou givest many gifts so even though you give him you might give him many gifts he doesn't care about that man all right so with that i like to give all the honor and praise and take our my shock lord willing to edify brother yasha allah shalom